Hello friends, in today's documentary, we will talk about, The Vatican Hides the Existence of the Archons. The War of the Archons with Humanity for the Soul. The Forbidden History of Humanity. Faceless Leaders Censor, Limit the Access of the Masses to Information about the Origins and Past of the Human Species, the Foundation of Understanding the Existence and Purpose in Life. Human history seems to be completely different from what is officially presented to us. Most cultures have books that speak not of primitive people but of the existence of advanced civilizations in the distant past. Mahabharata, Ramayana, Vedas describe in detail technologies that we have just or have not yet acquired, describe aircraft and their principles of operation, atomic weapons, describe advanced medical and genetic techniques. The Vedic texts describe that humanity lived a long life in the Golden Age and lived in harmony with Mother Nature. Then came the fall of man. Gods came from heaven teaching people agriculture, building cities, kings and hierarchical systems of control, armies, war, slavery, worship and sacrifices to the gods. All this meant the fall of man. A Golden Age with spiritualized beings, succeeded by those of silver, bronze and iron which gradually characterizes human depreciation by cultivating greed and selfishness so that the world must be reconfigured by a general cataclysm, a reset of humanity. All cultures and civilizations believed that we came from a spiritual level of reality and lived in accordance with these beliefs. Gnosticism. 2000 years ago, there was a religion called Gnosticism. Preceded by the great religions. It was the religion of salvation, of salvation not by the power of God, but by the assimilation of an esoteric knowledge. Gnosis, which teaches you how to escape from matter. The object of salvation is the divine spark. The spirit, immersed in soul and flesh, is unconscious of itself, asleep. Awareness and freedom are achieved through knowledge. You belong to schools of pre-Christian mysteries. Gnostics used psychoactive herbs, yoga and sexual rituals. The Bible teaches that knowledge for man, Gnosis, was not desired. Jehovah asks Adam and Eve not to eat from the tree of knowledge, we must remain foolish, otherwise we will be punished. It is said that when Adam and Eve ate the apple, they were ashamed. They realized they were slaves. Egyptian writings show that only the gods were clothed, the slaves were naked. The first people wanted to cover themselves. People were generally resistant to the imposed religion based on fear. The Gnostics were erased from history, killed, their writings destroyed. Considered heretical, in 1947 rediscovered in Egypt, the writings of the Dead Sea, Nag Hammadi, 400 years older than the New Testament and have not been altered like the Bible. Considered apocryphal, non-canonical texts. The texts speak of an E.T. race similar to the Grey E.T. race. They also refer to a reptilian form of E.T., to E.T. races benevolent or indifferent to humanity. But the Archons were considered hostile. I'm talking about very old E.T.s. Enoch says that the Archons were trapped in the prison of Earth, a 3D world. But they return to the end of time, a time when time will be zero, a reset. In ancient times, demons, gods, angels, devils, were immaterial, but they could also take material form when they wanted. Even change their form. Today the UFO phenomenon has the same characteristics. The apocryphal text. The hypostases of the archons or the reality of the leaders, express the Gnostic mythology of creation, the cosmos and humanity. Humans were multidimensional beings. In that period of prosperity we were invaded by energetic beings who declared themselves gods and rulers of mankind. It was just an invasion, not just one of the manipulative Hollywood movies. They took control through manipulation and fear. The first apocalypse of Jacob presents the idea of the existence of a password that allows you to exit this demiurge simulation program. Gnostic Myth Pleroma Formation at first it was the deep, the invisible, the unborn. The source is the only one in the universe. The cosmic scheme allegorically describes the mind of God. The name of this land is Pleroma, fullness. God was alone, contemplating himself. The Gnostics called the thoughts of God, Ioni, a very long time. 
It's been 12 eons. Source and silence gave birth to two eons, intellect and truth. Then the word, logos, and life, Zoe. The last of the 12 eons is Sophia. Wisdom, equals Mother Goddess equals Holy Spirit. Describes the descent of light into matter. Sophia equals the soul of this world, came from the center of the galaxy. Everything she dreams of comes into play. Sophia does not create. She produces emanations, dreaming. Sophia gave birth to a child god named Ialdabi. He was deformed, blind, without gnosis, ignorant, and mad. The serpentine is described, ashamed. Sophia drove her son out of Pleroma and hid him in a dark cloud. Ialdabi was left alone, mad, and full of divine power. This Gnostic being is called the Demiurge, the creator of the world. He created heaven and earth in the abyss of darkness and populated the universe with angelic rulers, archons. He thought he was the one god, even though he secretly knew about his mother, Sophia. He became intoxicated and mad with his own power. God is not the creator of the world, he is non-existent, man cannot know him. There are two worlds, a new, unseen world, in which a series of beings. Spiritual eons live Pleroma near God himself, and a phenomenal one, the visible universe, with its leaders, the Archons, a prison whose innermost prisoner is the Earth. The creator of man and matter is the Demiurge. The origin of man is twofold, worldly and extra-worldly. The Gnostics identified the God of the Old Testament with the Demiurge. In the Bible, the fear of God is paramount. Jesus defined his faith as being of the true God, accusing the Pharisees of serving Satan, Ialdabi. The early Christians preached that they did not worship Jehovah but a true God. Gnostic systems have a violent anti-Jewish tendency. The New Testament is rewritten by Emperor Constantine and information about the Archons has been erased, as has the burning of the library in Alexandria, everywhere he meets suffering. God, good par excellence, cannot be the creator of the world. Who created the world? A hostile and rebellious demiurge against the good God, he created an imperfect and evil world, just like him. Gnosticism, Sethians, Gnosis equals knowledge of God, Kabbalah, Hermetism, Rosicrucianism, Moses took the magic when he left Egypt and became the basis of Kabbalah, the original Jewish mysticism of Babylon. A myth of the Gnostic faith is the biblical story of Cain and Abel. Cain farmer, Abel pastor. Both offered sacrifices to God, Abel from the firstborn of the sheep, Cain from the harvest. God only accepted Abel's blood sacrifices, Cain killed him out of jealousy. He was cast out, cursed to remain a fugitive and lost on the earth. Adam and Eve had another son to replace Abel. Seth married his sister Noria. From them were drawn Methuselah, Enoch, Noah, the race of God's elect on earth. Seth's sons were an elitist minority. The rest of humanity descended from Cain, corruption, wars were Cain's legacy. What are Archons? Gnostics say that a great planetary invasion took place in 3600 BC. The Earth was invaded by mysterious and ruthless beings, the Archons. They could create illusory reality, they manipulated us to enslave us. They were jealous of us for having a soul, they didn't. Some look like reptiles, others like a fetus, grey skin and black eyes. I do not understand the sacred and I hate it, I hate peace, happiness, they want us to vibrate at a very low frequency. Their food, Christians call them demons, Muslims call them, also called guardian angels, guide spirits. Archons produce cracks in the aura and install software of fear, envy. Ignorance and degraded sex, are aggressive, territorial, have demonic powers. Being shadowy, they can change shape, put false ideas in your mind and create hallucinations. They can provoke voices in your head, invade your mind, make you moody. I can create feelings of love for them in you. He covers up his abductions by creating fake memory screens. Leave pregnant women and take their baby. Archons are attached to the soul as long as they have emotional food. A dark table. They are psychic vampires, mental parasites.
They feed on the energy of thoughts, emotions and feelings, especially the negative ones such as fear, hatred, creates dramatic events that give rise to negative energies. They love violence and are sexually motivated by conflict, rape, war and death. It creates war to consume the energy released by death. Explain why there is so much tragedy in the world, so many dead. Why people hate each other and kill themselves fervently. They push people to evil deeds, Arconi, they lead the world, being hidden by the official history, that is the Vatican. Religion. The Latin word relegatio equals to bind you mentally, to bind you to the mind. The elites are not at the top of the pyramid, there are the Archons. We have a predator. A predator that came from the depths of the cosmos and took over our lives. The kidnapper is our lord and master. He made us docile and helpless. They took care of us because we are their food. Just as we raise chickens in cages, so do predators raise us in human cages, humaneros. That way, they have food on hand all the time, to keep us obedient, submissive and weak. They gave us their minds. The kidnapper's mind is baroque, full of contradictions, grumpy and full of fear that he might be discovered. Through the mind, which after all is their mind, the kidnappers inject into their lives everything that suits them. In the depths of the human being there is an ancestral, visceral knowledge about the existence of the kidnapper. This predator is an inorganic being. They called him a flyer because he was hopping in the air. It's not nice to look at. It's a big, dark shadow. They gave us our belief systems, the ideas of good and evil. They have given us envy, greed and cowardice. They have made us full of routine and selfishness. To the Romans, the flyer is a demon that sucks the erotic energy of virgins. A-R-C-H-O-N-I-S-T-S, aliens of Gnostic texts. 4D Greys have the technology to extract your energy, memory and experiences. They are waiting for you in the light when you die. You are recycled in another body and the process starts again. They kidnap people for thousands of years, the tunnel and the light of death are deceptive. It is believed that the Archangels are the servants of the Archons. Archons are part of the Demiurge's network, Yahweh, the God of Moses, uses fear as a tool of control, he is thirsty for blood. He gave precise instructions to Moses about the sacrifices so that not a drop of blood would be lost. This thirst for blood is bizarre. What did the sacrifices mean? Why did it take so much blood? All the arguments converge that Yahweh is a reptilian ruler, substitutes himself for God and manipulates mankind. Why don't we remember previous lives? How do we solve the past if we don't remember it? Reasons to feel fear, anxiety, stress and depression. Stress causes heart disease, a global mass murderer that does not allow vibrations to rise. The moon is like a ship. Many cultures believe that souls go to death on the moon. The universality of suffering is bizarre. The myths speak of a golden age, without violence, in which the animals were also vegetarian. Now, the whole animal kingdom, from insects to humans, each individual is hostile to another individual. Everyone kills or will be killed without a fundamental motivation. Why have people always fought, killed each other moment by moment? There is hatred and enmity between individuals. Regardless of intellectual level, the man is warlike, he destroys everything around him. Even technology is slowly destroying our spirit. Any feeling of panic, sadness, anger, annoyance, hatred, malice, enmity, etc. creates a field that is the storehouse of nourishing energy for Archons. Everywhere he meets suffering, God, good par excellence, cannot be the creator of the world. Who created the world? A hostile and rebellious demiurge against the good God. He created an imperfect and evil world, just like him, a prison of divine sparks closed in animated bodies. The trap of reincarnation traps souls. Gnostic philosophy states that after death, the divine spark of the soul, brought by Sophia, wants to return to God, in Pleroma, but the Archons block its path. By returning the spirits to Pleroma Arhanai and Ialdabi, they would lose the meaning of their own existence, the physical universe. 
The soul catching net is a terrible and disturbing concept. Arconians stop the soul after death to ascend to God, bind it to the earth through reincarnations. His memory is erased, his soul is recycled in another body. The earth is a prison planet. It is very difficult to escape, it remains a closed system in which more and more people are born in order to fuel the economy and generate negative emotions to feed the Archons. Beings don't remember who they are. Archons trigger our negative emotions, using the media, wars, fear and other deceptions, so that we can feed ourselves. We are raised like animals on a farm. We function as energy generators for Archons. They fool us, we give them our consent voluntarily. How? We have always been told that we must turn to the white light that appears at death. Hollywood movies promote this. Reincarnation is a form of control, a form of slavery. We are born in ignorance, the only knowledge is that which has been given to us by the gods. Religions and ideologies. Decades later we die in ignorance and return to earth again. In reincarnation I erase your memories. I make you sign a contract of the soul to go through all kinds of trials and horrors that will cause you great suffering, telling you that there are lessons needed for evolution. To compensate for karma, in reality they are like to generate low energy, their food. The world is Maya illusion. A theme in Buddhism and Hinduism is that the world is Maya equals illusion. Another Buddhist teaching says that life is suffering, and reincarnation is an endless cycle of suffering, the wheel of samsara, which can only be interrupted by spiritual practice. What is the matrix control system? It is the totality of forces and control mechanisms in order to keep us spiritually asleep. Institutions, government, military, medicine, finance, media, education and religion, build our belief system and way of life. Their hidden architects may be secret societies, elite bloodlines, corporate unions, international bankers, covet military networks. Some call the shadow government the Illuminati or the New World Order. This social political machine is the matrix, the external aspects, the easy part to see. The roots extend into the occult ET area and into hyperdimensional lands. We are in a huge spiritual war. The first level of control is the Demiurge, then the Archons, then the E.T. Different from the demons, they changed our genetics, history, beliefs and they want our total control. They are quasi-physical beings, they have superior intelligence. Psychic abilities and technology with which they can change matter, energy, space and time. They are the architects of the Matrix. It keeps us in the Matrix and the limitation of the five senses, Everything changes when you manage to connect with the spiritual world. Control is also done by people programmed or manipulated through whom ET can act. Some have no conscious control over themselves. Weaknesses that allow the matrix, perception limited to five senses. We cannot see occult and energetic enemies. Like an iceberg, the matrix control system is hidden from view. Science is firmly established in physics by blocking technological revolutions. Free energy. The ego keeps us emotionally anchored in the matrix. When the spirit, the core of our being, identifies too much with the ego, it acquires its weaknesses and forgets its own purposes. Another weakness is our ignorance, stupidity and naivete. They taught us to eat meat, the body vibration decreases, the monkeys were and are essentially vegetarian. By homonization they became carnivores. Belief in consensual reality, what is allowed, what is impossible. If you liked our documentary, don't forget to leave a comment, like and subscribe. Until next time, I wish you a wonderful day with us.